Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I wanna go over how to do aggregates in Xano and just how easy they are to do through the query all records function. So looking at my screen here, you can see I have this database table of MLB players. Looks like there is 1,034. I'm not sure what year it's from. It looks a little bit old, but it's a nice data set uh, that we can go ahead and, and use. So I'm gonna jump over to my API and into my demo group, and I just have a empty API endpoint set up here. So as mentioned, we will do aggregates through our query all records function. So I'm just gonna go to my function stack, database request, query all records, and I'm gonna select uh, MLB players, okay? So we know if we were to run this right now, we would just get a list of all those records. Uh, however, what we can do, we can go to the output tab and we can actually change the return type to aggregate. So now that we've selected aggregate, we see there's a few different options, right? We have group by, aggregate by, sort by. So for example, let's go ahead and say we want to group by the teams and we can just call this team. And let's go ahead and look at age. And when we select that field, we can choose the aggregator. So there's average, counts, maxes, medians, we can go to list, etc. sum. So there's a whole lot we can do here. And it's so easy, we just select this. So let's say we wanna find the average age of each MLB team. So I'm just gonna call this field average age and then hit save. And you can see our response will change. And now if we go ahead and run this, well, we can see that we'll get each team back and the average age of all their players. And you know, maybe adding a sort here might be a little more insightful. So we can see which team is the youngest on average, right? So if we go back to our return and go to sort by, well, we can sort by that aggregated field, average age. We'll say ascending order, right? So youngest team first. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'll just go ahead and now run that. So we can see it looks like Florida, which I think is called Miami now, is was the youngest team on average. And we can scroll down and we can see it looks like the New York Mets was the oldest team on average for that year. So let's go ahead with a couple other examples here. So I'm gonna go back into my return and let's go ahead and look at positions, right? And we'll just go ahead and change this field name to position. And then we can start with, we'll do average age again. So let's go ahead and look at the youngest position by average age. We can see there is starting pitcher is the youngest and designated hitter. It doesn't look like there's much of an age difference there on average. What might be interesting is let's go ahead and look at a max, right? So what is the oldest player by position? And look how just quickly that is to change the aggregate. So if I just go ahead and run this now, we can see, wow. So MLB player's oldest one for that year was 37. It's like there was a first baseman that was 48 years old. So you can play until you're pretty old in the MLB. Um, let's do one more here. So let's go ahead and let's change our aggregator to, let's do a count. And I'm just gonna call this count. And we'll go ahead and let's see, let's sort count in uh, descending order. So this will show us the most popular positions in the MLB first. So I'll just go ahead and run this. And you can go ahead and see that relief pitcher, 315 of them, and as we scroll down, we can see the DH or designated hitter is the least popular. And I do wanna point out with aggregates, this is just a simple example, but we can add additional group by fields, right? We could group by as many fields as we need to. We could add additional aggregators, right? Uh, so the same thing applies there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. We can add additional sortings. So just know that's all available. Of course, this was some pretty simple examples, but you can do some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, if you have any kind of like sales transaction history, um, things that you might need to build for CRMs or reportings, financials, etc. You can do all that here through the aggregator in Xano. Also our add-ons can also return aggregates as well. So if you're querying data and you need to find related data, but do some aggregation on it, it has the same exact aggregation engine. So thanks for watching. Hope it was uh, insightful and hopefully you can use the aggregates in your Xano backend.